Good morning friends and welcome to our Saturday and welcome to our weekend vlog. Uh, I just finished, sorry for my morning face, I have not put my makeup on yet. I will be doing that soon. And uh, if you recognize my outfit from my new intro that I think will be on my channel now, is it was so difficult for me to make that intro and I still don't know if I'm happy with it. I don't know if I'm enough happy with it to post it on my channel, if you know what I mean. But if you recognize my outfit, it's because of that. And this t-shirt actually has been a favorite of mine all summer long. It's just so lightweight and flattering on, I think. But yeah, today um, I'm double vlogging. I'm uh, doing my uh, Union Moms Snapchat vlogging on Saturdays. Yeah, and here is Natalie. Can you say good morning? Can you say good morning to our friends? Mama, yeah. And I really need to tidy up her room, honey. Uh, honey, <laughs> now I'm mixing my languages. I mean, I really need to tie up her room, guys. Yesterday we went out for an uh, anniversary dinner. Um, well, let me just flip you around again and sit down. And we're gonna have a little live chat right now. I'm just gonna close the door so Natalie does not run out of me. And I don't want Caesar to wake up from when I'm babbling. But yeah, uh, yesterday Caesar and I, I have a really good uh, well, really good. I have a really exciting announcement to make. Um, yesterday was our second year wedding, not wedding, but engagement anniversary. And um, a quick backstory for you guys <laughs> that don't know. Um, Natalie here, she is our rainbow baby. And what that means is that she is the baby that come, came after losing a child and I'm gonna try not to get emotional wow I'm ex I got I got out of breath just sitting down Whew. anyway uh, I'm gonna try not to get emotional in this segment but um mama, mama. yeah uh, when I started my youtube channel was to document my pregnancy journey and that journey began before Natalie um, me and Caesar decided to be starting, thank you, she's giving me all of her toys, uh, starting Mama. our family back Mama. in 2000 Mama. and Mama. Mama. 16. Mama. And I got Mama. pregnant Mama. in February Mama. 2016 on my birthday Mama. to be exact. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you, I will put my shoe back on. Mama. She always tells me to put my shoes back on. And she will not stop until I have it on. Okay. Sorry for all the distractions, but mom life. Mama. Mama. Yeah. Yeah, better? You like it better now? I'm wearing my flips or uh, flip flops inside because I just painted my nails. And I don't want to destroy it by using my furry my furry slippers. So Anyway, and she's confused why I'm wearing these shoes. I always wear my pink ones. Yeah, but can you take a toy then? Ah, uh, but what? Now she's pointing at images. <sighs> anyway, I want to finish my story. Um, yeah, so I got pregnant on my birthday, 2016. Okay. And six months later, we um, lost our baby. Or they discovered on the big ultrasound that our baby was ill and that she was not gonna make it and we um, had to terminate the pregnancy <clears throat> so I'm not gonna talk about that more now because I'm gonna get emotional but what happened was that summer after losing her it was a girl as well um, we had about one month or one and a half months of just him and I and no pregnancy or anything like that and we were just trying to find ourselves again we were trying to get back to our love relationship him and I and the 17th of August we took a trip a day trip to an, a beach that is about 40 minutes away and it's a very big one and we got, walked there for a long time and we sat down in the sand and just talking and reconnecting and 
It was a very romantic moment and I had been bugging Caesar for a long time that he should propose to me. <laughs> and But he never did, not because he didn't want but he said, no, but I need the right moment. And many times I felt like, but this could have been a good moment, why he didn't do it or things like that. And I remember in that moment we were sitting in the sand listening to some romantic music on his phone, just watching the, the waves and nobody was there except for one naked guy, <laughs> an awkward naked guy, <laughs> further down, but anyway, uh, he didn't really pay attention to us. Mono. And uh, Mono. <laughs> what more? What more do you have? Mama. Mama. Girafa. Yeah. Mama. Uh, yeah. And I just gave him a notch and I said, but you don't think this is a good moment or something like that. And in the end he laughed and he Mama got down Mama. on one knee and he proposed to me. Mama. He did not have a ring in that moment because it was all spontaneous. And But he proposed to me and I said yes. Mama. And that night I got pregnant with this one. <laughs> And actually, we, it was the only Mama. time we were intimate Mama. after losing Mama, Mama after losing our uh, first daughter, and I did not have, ha I didn't have any cycle yet in that moment, so everything was just against the odds, really, that she, that we were gonna get pregnant. But I got it, and Natalie is here now, so it's very magical, I think. A little backstory. Uh, yeah, so yesterday was the 17th of August and we celebrated our second uh, engagement anniversary. And last night at dinner Caesar told me, well, so when are we gonna get married? And I said, what do you mean? I'm still waiting for you <laughs> like, to tell me when. And, and he said, no, but you have to, you have to, ah, oh, thank you, thank you. You have to make the preparations and I will just come and say yes. <laughs> And I said, well, okay. And um, I appreciate that because I like to do that kind of thing. Um, yeah, but our problem is that we don't really have a big budget. As you know, our economy is really, really, really not good. And he said, minimum it has to be one year from now because I need to be able to save a little money. And uh, of course, and even doing that, I will not be able to have an extravagant wedding. And that's not really what I want anymore anyway. I just want to get married with him because I want to be able to call myself his wife and, and I want him to be my husband, not my boyfriend who I'm engaged with and have a child with. I want to say my husband, that's something I have been dreaming of all my life, so yeah. So that's a very exciting announcement for you that I think that here on my channel I'm gonna start to make I don't know how or, or when, but I have the idea that I want to document, of course, this journey too. So I will start doing some, like, wedding-inspired um, content here on my channel, because it's a part of my life. And uh, maybe you could give me suggestions of what you want. Do you want me to make, like, dedicated videos to that? Or, like, wedding updates or things like that? Or do you just want me to incorporate yeah, what happens? Oi, Natalie, <laughs> you want me to read a book? <laughs> okay, <laughs> come. Uh, or do you want me to like incorporate it into my vlogs and just update you as we go along? Please let me know because it's something I would be very interesting in knowing. Okay, should we read this one now? Do you want to? <coughs> let me put the camera here and we can read. Hmm? Okay, here we go. Jag och mamma. Det här är jag. Och det här är min mamma. Do you want the other book now? Ma yeah. Mamma. Ja, mamma. Okej, do you want to read this? Mamma. Okej. Okay. Ingrid vill bada. Ingrid är kladdig. Mycket damm och smulor. Smuts. Mm. Stora drivor. Fetterna oh. är svarta. Ingrid. Det mm. är så gud. Mamma. Ja. Yeah. Bada genast. Tvätta bort all lorten. Bli ren och lukta gott. Tur att badrummet är ledig. Ma! Ingrid. Sätt på vattnet pappa. Ingrid kastar kläderna. Hon vill i direkt. Det här är hennes älskningsliv. Då 
största nätvatten fall och inget blött om året. Mysigt vatten att rinna. Blött och varmt och längre. Tvålen lättar blommor. Ingen vill tvätta händerna. Det blir stora skära bubblor. Det är helt regn av strand. Djuren är också lortiga. Och den röda bilen. Och alla ska få plats. Ingrid, björnen, grotta, bebis. Blunda. Slut. Hej. Did you like your book? Ja. Ja. Did you like your book? Mommy loves you so much. Ingrid. Ja. 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 Oh, yeah, I got all sweaty talking about it. Yeah. But also I want to know um, because I want to make there is two videos very dear to my heart that I want to make. But I don't know if I can. Um, I want to make a labor and delivery story for Natalie. But I feel like I cannot do that before telling the other story about her big sister. And that video is something that I get emotional just thinking about. And I don't know if it's... I don't know if I ever will be ready to truly talk about it. But I think it's something I just have to do if I want to move on. Of course I will never forget. I will never stop feeling sad. Heartbroken about that. But yeah, if you want to see my first ever videos, they are so awkward. I'm so awkward in my videos. It, it's like cringing to watch. But if you want to see that part of my life, my first videos here on this channel are... Uh, I think I made 20 pregnancy updates. Or from or up to week 20. So maybe it's like 10 videos. 10 or 12. I don't remember exactly, but... Uh, about that pregnancy and you can tell that in all of the videos I'm feeling down and feeling that something is wrong and I truly believe that my body and my subconscious or unconscious I don't know how to say that uh, knew before everyone else knew that something was wrong and I think it's very important yeah Ingrid for us to listen to our instincts more as mothers and our bodies because they are our bodies know more than we think and um, yeah but you can also see that after I stopped making that videos I didn't make a video for uh, one year and I then later did a life update talking a little bit about what happened and why I stopped so you can watch that also if you want some more background of me and why this channel yeah. came about it's not only um, sunshine and ro roses here but I try now to do as many and inspiring videos as yeah. possible because I truly think that we are the creators of our destiny and life and we decide where we want to go in life yes there are hardships yes we have dramas but we can also learn from that so that's my little message to you all this morning Saturday, 10.40. So interesting. So let me go home today and I'm a little fan. Yeah. Are you playing music for mommy? Huh? Thank you. This was a book she got from her great grandparents. It's the first nursery rhymes, I think, in Swedish. <laughs> and she loves to press the buttons and hear the music. You don't really care about the book yet. You care more about the music, huh? Hmm? Can you sing for mommy? Can you dance? Natalie? Can you dance? Yeah! Dancing, dancing! <laughs> mommy loves you, you know. Thank you. Thank you for coming to us. I had to wait for you for a really long time. I was pregnant for one and a half year before you came. Thank you. For finally arriving. <laughs> Thank you. And thanks for being so cute to mommy. Come on, mom, push. Can you give mommy a kiss? Mama. Thank you. That's all I need. Natalie is 
sleeping and I'm just taking the opportunity to do some light cleaning here and if you want to see my full bathroom cleaning routine I will have that video linked in the cards of this video or and also in the description box below but after we're going to Macedonia and we're gonna do some grocery shopping and I will share with you later when we come home what we buy Mama. Where are we going? We're going somewhere to do something really, really funny. Yeah. We're gonna play. <laughs> Yay! Here we are. No, she don't have shoes. No. Here we are in Mercadona. Now we're gonna do the shopping and we just finished in the in the playground. Natalie had a lot of fun. Yeah. Here we are, now we are back home and I'm just quickly gonna show you all the things that we bought in Mercadona and today is Saturday so we didn't do the big shopping today obviously, we do that on Mondays but we were in need of a few things and yeah, the grand total of today's shopping was about 50 euros so it's okay, um, it's about 25 or 20 euros more than I would like to spend on a Saturday but it's okay for what we got so here you go. First we have our chicken breasts, boneless, skinless. One complete chicken, one thing of butter, some eggs, pre-cut vegetables, uh, three avocados, some ne nectarines, some leche for Natalie, some uh, popcorn for mother when she's feeling like she wants something at night. <laughs> Yeah, paprika, cheese, two different kinds of seeds that I use for my breakfast, some cleaning supplies, one new shower gel, one intimate soap, two desodorant deodorants, some corn, sweet corn, some tomato, uh, almendras, chocolate, cat and dog food. Natalie, be careful. Be careful. Some dog food, some crushed tomatoes, lens, and some rice cake, one lactose free milk. This I don't know what it's called, aluminium foil. So now I'm back and Caesar has calmed down. <laughs> anyway, the last thing.
things that I bought, I had to open it because he was in need of a sandwich. Can you be quiet? Anyway, some salad, some red onion and my yogurt for tomorrow morning and some tomatoes. That's all the things that we bought. But yeah, it's quite a lot. Can you be nice? Can you say hi? Hi. Or are you gonna be angry? Eh, la niña se ha cagado. A pesar. That means that the baby has pooped and you are gonna change her. No, no. Yo voy a poner la ropa. <laughs> okay. Estoy, por favor, estoy de nuevo. Yeah. Not my fault. Cut. Cut. <laughs> it's late and I have decided to end today's vlog because it's quite long and I don't think that I will be able to fit tomorrow in this vlog as well. So I just want to say thank you for watching today's video friends, thank you for taking the time and also welcome to all of you new people here. It's so exciting to have new uh, followers here on YouTube and a part of our family. I just want to say that we are close to reach 100 subscribers and it's a very big milestone for me. I remember in the beginning I said to Cesar, if I get to 50 subscribers I will be very happy and today we are at 90 so hopefully the 100 is not too far away and I'm also planning um, to do some kind of giveaway around 100 subscribers also so if you are not subscribed already please subscribe hit that little bell notification next to it and like this video and share it with your friends and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Mwah. Bye.